Welcome back to the girls', girls bathroom. bathroom. Do you know what we should do? What? We should write a Christmas girls Song. bathroom tune. Or do, no, just change the just, just jingle. Just change it. Have a jingle. Wait, wait. Yeah. I like the sound of a deer. No, not a deer. A ra- reindeer. Reindeer. Nay. Some some sleigh bells. Yep. <laughs> And with some like elf noises yes. of like tapping toys, yes. building toys. Yes. Yeah. Let's have a girls' bathroom jingle. Yes. We're gonna do that. Yeah. We just we can do it ourselves. We just get a tambourine. Yeah. Triangle. Triangle. What a tambourine is? <laughs> Isn't that what you do when you want to round the floors but you can't make noise? <laughs> <laughs> Silent applause. Yeah. <laughs> Look, you know, just like uh, um, uh, yeah, triangle. A triangle. I've got a, a triangle. Green. You've got one. My mum's got one in her house. Mm. What did she do with that? Um, well, when we were in reception or year one, my role in the school play was to play the triangle. Oh my goodness! I did make it onto the stage. Yeah. I was in the music in group. The music group. And I had a couple. I wonder what I was in. And I think school. we've got it. What was I? I don't know. You must have been on stage because you weren't in my music group. I must have been on stage then. Mm. Yeah. Because Lydia, listen, this is how, this is the difference between her and Lydia. She was the narrator. My brother was the narrator <laughs> as well. Girl, <laughs> blimey. Yeah, with his book. A long time, time ago. ago. It was all about projection. That was the biggest role, but they didn't have to learn their lines. I thought that's, you know. Yeah, so that was. You just read it. Mm, you ain't learning anything. I'm is memorizing it? stuff mm. here. There's more to this role. Exactly. So happy Wednesday, guys. Yeah. Welcome back to the girls' We've got bathroom. Good question of the week. So I stole this from a TikTok. This is not our content. Yeah, this, this is has not, been stolen. I screenshot it. So I went having that. <laughs> we'll take that. that. And it is. Oh wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Um, have you started your book? No, I oh. forgot. Oh, I started. I forgot. I, I forgot. Oh. Then, and then. I want to remember. I was too tired. Oh, uh, so I, the evening just ran away with me last night. Me and Chintzy are reading the same book at the moment. Yes. The people in the group chat are aware of this. Absolutely. Um, We're entering our bookworm era. But also our action girl era. Mm. You know? Yeah. It's really getting me in the Hunger Games zone. Yeah, because there should be a little bit of a... Uh, do you know what? It's really getting me in the mood. Right, the so film. basically it's like... You know when it's like, it's like the evil person's side? Um, like Maleficent. Um, what's the word In origin thoughts. story mm. i think he's gonna obviously have this wild love and get his heart broken because that happens to a lot of people and then that's their origin story now they're just angry forever that Maleficent. Cause, yeah because they had their hearts broken I watched that the other day so he's 100 percent gonna have his heart broken because mm. he's quite likable what i'm reading is he he's going through some hardships well, there you go mm. he's gonna fall in love and it's gonna get his heart broken uh, i'm presenting mm. it now and You're then that's a bit of a why he wants story. to do the Hunger Games every year and just kill people. No, no, no. Well, no, no. I've learned a lot already in my no. couple of chapters. So the D- book, no. not to bore everyone. Oh, I won't bore no, everyone. No, no, we no. don't want to talk about no, it. No. <laughs> so Moving on. But it's a question of the week. Back to the question of the week. So question of the week. This week is, God, we're, we're, we're very decided about our answer here to this. Are we? It's not a split the crowd. So we're not. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So this is what Chintzia saw on, saw on TikTok. Would you end a three-year relationship? Emphasis on the... That's a lot. I don't think I've ever hit three years. I've never hit three years. I've never hit Sh- three years. Wow. I think I almost happened, hit three you? years the first time. God help us. Yeah, all. maybe you did. Do you think? No, I think it was like two and a half, you know. I swear mm. to God, I don't think it was three. Because if it was three, I'd three. You've never hit the three. No, I think I'm always two and a half and then I'm out. And then it, and then it, yeah. God. So I've got the two and a half year curse. Would you end a three year relationship if he followed a random girl back on Instagram? I mean, it's we've very put, yeah. disrespectful. We've put, we've put, yeah, weird move. Yeah. Or we've put three years and you're you're following a random girl back who has no connection to anyone, not a mate, no one knows her. She lives in Chicago. She's just got nice pics. 
or even worse, if she lives in the city, she lives in. The, he, that's what know, I'm yeah, thinking. Sorry, my bad. Even worse. Even worse. Or we've got ending feels extreme. Nothing's extreme. Nothing's extreme. Nothing's extreme. Nothing's here. extreme when it comes to this. But what's, I, what is your prediction? This is your well, question. I, what's I, your prediction? I, I thought most people were going to say, get rid of, not acceptable in 2023. It's not acceptable. What are you doing that for? Disrespect. Disrespect. Weird I've move. got no other, I've got no, weird move, disrespect. What are you trying to gain out of this? Like, do you think I'm not watching either? Mm. It's do like, do I you don't think know. I, yeah, do you think you can be doing this and, uh, and just mm. think, oh, Susie, whatever, no. Maybe I've got eyes on everything. So now you think I'm stupid. Yes. Yeah, so and now I'm even more insulted. Exactly. Because you think it's, I'm stupid. Exactly. You think you can get away with shit. Because you know it's wrong. What, you're mm. going to sit there and say, what, you're going to sit there and say? Mm. You I know it's dodgy. I just don't, like, understand dodgy. the thought. For what? Exa exactly. For, For what? what? It's dodgy. What's the, what's yes. step number two yes. after you've done step number it's one? Dodgy as fuck. What next? Well, like in their pics and shit. What do they do? Then Sit what? Cheating? Well, then it's like, oh, we're okay. gonna sleep with her. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well, yeah, mm. yeah. So, because it, they, they get a taste for it. They go, oh, might as well message her. So what? Mm. See, so, uh, uh, whereabouts do you live? Gauging that. Mm. Oh well, you, you know, Susie's away for a week. Mm. What are we doing at the weekend? So that's our thoughts. The uh, the poll <laughs> is slightly different. Are we to not our thoughts? It? 93% Oh I'll say Ending feels extreme <laughs> We're really not aligned this week With the audience And 7% are saying Yeah we're fucking moved Yeah we're, we're fucking moved. moved We're fucking moved It is but I don't know why More people like think We're fucking moved Because <laughs> all, all, all the bottom was We're fucking moved And it just is a weird fucking move So I don't know why More people just didn't go do you know what that because it is weird <laughs> it's a weird move but you guys <laughs> you, you amaze me every week you so. amaze me i'm gonna read the responses because okay. we usually get a bit more insight here into yes. the minds of our of the listeners minds of the listeners um my friend's boyfriend followed a girl on instagram who my other friend works with and he likes her pics including ones at ocean beach eyes emoji Okay. So is that 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 was just a statement that for us? Just to, a statement. Yeah, and that is not okay. Yeah, it depends if he's a repeat offender. But what? Okay. But, is, but if but anything, this is his first time if, testing it out. He knows but, it's wrong. If anything, is it not just worse if it's the one time? What's so special about that yes. one? Yes. <laughs> Rather you do it constantly. <laughs> so at least I know you know they're just all maybe not a sackable offence, but defo a red flag. More than a red flag. Three red flags yeah. for me. Yeah. He might have followed by accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Slip of the thumb. That's what he's telling you. That's what he's That's telling you. That's what he's telling you and you believe in it. Mm. Way over dramatic. Whoa! <laughs> Coming for our next. I wouldn't end it unless it becomes a pattern. Yes. Well, if it's a one-time thing, he will be warned. Yeah, listen. Yeah, I'm I'm, listen. I'm, I'm yeah. trying to put myself in the shoes of... Listen, I'm with someone for three years, but I would. Be, I, I'm I, not. I'm not I'm ending not, it there on the spot. But I'm not trusting you ever again. That feels extreme. Because I Sophia, would, what the hell? You're meant to love my, me and be my obsessed with me. My response would be, "Who the fuck is this?" I would definitely be like, "What? What are you doing? Like, what? Stressed. What's going on here? Like, who is? Why?" I would need. I'd need to address it, have a conversation, get some explanation, and I would be wary going forward. Then I'd be checking. But I wouldn't but, end, but I wouldn't be the, dumping but, my boyfriend because he followed a random yes. girl, but, but I would be pissed off. It, and it, I'd be like, what, what are you doing? I think it may well be the start of the end. It could be the start of because, the end. Because like you said, now I'm checking. Yeah. Because now I'm paranoid. Now well, I'm a, a bit feel like, oh, I'm not sure if I know exactly who you are. Well, I, now, I trusted you completely. Yeah, now, now I, you've got a trait that I didn't think you yes. had. And 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 then it, and then it starts other things. Mm -hmm. Oh, when are you coming home? And then you start overthinking what they're doing when they're out. When maybe they're just with their mates, mm -hmm. but but you know now it's other things. Mm -hmm. It's and just the start of the end. I think it's the start it of the always end. it always comes back to like I would be thinking in my head like, well, I'm not following random guys back. 
So why are you following random even, girls back? Right, even like that girl... alone, I'd just be like, wait, what? Like we're on exactly. a different page. Because if I'm moving like that, then it's like, oh, well, I can understand. I don't know. I don't know. But well, exactly. If like, I'm not doing that. So why are you doing well, that? Yeah. If you're in a loyal, loving, committed relationship, you expect your partner to not be out there scouting other fresh mm. meat. And like you're not out there scouting other guys. Mm. And but 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 like like what that girl said. So what? Her friend's boyfriend just followed some girl who worked with one of their friends mm. and likes their picture. You don't Why? know this girl for what? Why? Yeah, it stressed me out. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's a single move. That's a single guy's move. Yes, that that's exactly. not a that's not a three year relationship no, move. No. Um, it's some like, more responses. On the explore page. Ending does feel extreme on the explore page. True though. Ending does feel extreme, but questioning him about it would be great. Mm. To be fair, I would talk to him about it. You know, do you know her? Where do you know her from? Mm. Why are we following her randomly? I'd just be extremely pissed off for a few weeks. Mm. Ending seems extreme, but would explain my thoughts. And if he didn't understand slash kept doing it, then goodbye. He, do you know what? Exactly. If he didn't get it. Yeah. If he was acting like he thought it was so innocent, I'd be like, you know, it's not though. Mm. Because you know it's not. Someone's saying I wouldn't be ending it, but I'd be kicking off. Yeah. Old me would say this feels extreme. New me knows to see the red flags and bin the boy as soon as he shows you them. She's wise. It's true, though. It's true. I, I, and I do think, like we said before, I do think it's the start of the end. This is a good way to summarize. Definitely pulling him up on it. And if the reasoning is off, then goodbye. Yeah. If you're being shifty, if you're trying to play it down, we know what it is. Yeah. In it. I think extreme to end without addressing it, but would definitely need to be brought up. Then his reaction would determine if ending or whatever happened next. Yeah. yeah. So people aren't ending it off the off the because, cuff. But also, because if, if, if it's not a good sign. Like if your boyfriend is following girls he doesn't know. Then it just sh it just shows it just shows us everything we need to know, does it not? Mm. That you're not even bothered about me. Mm. I should be the only girl you it's, see in the world. Exactly, like Rihanna said. Exactly. This girl's got a good one. My boyfriend is so unbothered by IG. His only feed picture is of me from 2018. He's not even in it. That's just lovely. And he only follows his friends, footballers, and food accounts. That's the, the triple S. Friends, friends, footballers, food accounts. <laughs> the S S F. The triple F combo. The triple F. So heck yeah, I'd be mega bothered if suddenly started following for the first time in eight years. No yes. thanks. Yeah. It's, yes. Mm. It's serious. And then the boys who say, oh, I don't even, you know, Instagram's not even like that. You know, I don't even, you know, see Instagram in that way. Like, oh, like I just followed her because, you know, I thought I knew her. Uh, 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 shut up. This girl said, I definitely feel a bit weird about it, but if the shoe was on the other foot, I have followed people very innocently if I've met them with no flirtatious intention. So I'd hope to give them the same benefit of the doubt. Yeah, but you've met, we're talking about random. Yeah. We're talking a about random girl that's just like in your home city where you guys live, that is just no like a random. No friends. And you're it's, like, hmm, that's you, weird. You, yeah, like fair enough if we all went out the weekend and we all hung out with this group. And yeah, then, that oh, changes yeah. the vibe. And it's changes like just the context. Yeah, you followed the boyfriends and he followed the girlfriends and, mm. but it's not that at all. People are saying it would build up a weird resentment and they would start having question marks. Yeah. It, it's the start of the end. It's the start of the end. We should make a song. I know. I was just about to say, is there a song that's called that? Must be. The start of the end. All of that girl. It was the start of the end. It's very poetic. It is. Have you seen people yeah. like predicting... Um, what Taylor Swift songs would be. Oh, wait, it, I saw maybe a couple. It's like, you took my heart to the end zone. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, I lost the ball. It's like stuff like that. <laughs> you played the American football. Yeah. I was in the bleachers. You threw the ball through my mm. heart. Yeah. So what do they do in American football? They just run to the line and die. Run to the end zone. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's the, yeah. Mm. So yeah. You broke my heart at the end We zone. never made it to the end, end zone. zone. Those kind of vibes. I thought you were the end. Mm. But really, you were all about the end zone. End zone. <laughs> I thought you were end game. But you were just end, end zone. zone. <laughs> <laughs> Straight oh. Okay, it's girl talk. It's that like... was our question of the week. 
lay all day. Let's get into some dilemmas. Yes. Where do we start? Where do we have start? Have you seen, um, so you know how we talk, so spoke about um, girl math? Yeah, I've seen the boy, boy math. math. Boy math, you're five foot ten, but you think you're six foot. Exactly. I saw another one and it was like, what was it? Maybe we should put a question box on for next week. Mm, boy math. And get some of the things. But I boy math, but do you know what boy math is? What? Boy math is following a random girl on Instagram and thinking, thinking there's nothing wrong with that. Thinking you're not going to get caught. Cool. Yeah, that's boy math. Okay, we're going to start here this week because we don't really know what it is. I feel like this goes against all our instincts. So does I. So do I. Don't you this think? girl said, she's drawn us in with the subject title. Yeah. She said, girl talk, friend group needs, in capitals, needs. to be an odd number. But doesn't it need to be even so we can pair off? In an equal, in an equal split, mm. in equal parties. Everyone's got a two, like, a two, a three, if there's, a two. If it's a group of six, perfect. A two, a two, a two. Or straight in the middle, a three and a three. Tell me about it. Right? Maybe she's going to change our life. So what happens female. when there's five? Two and two, odd one out. What happens at roll when we're at the theme park? Two, two, odd one out. Someone sits on their own. We had a nightmare we went to Disneyland Paris, the three of us. Don't go as a trio, please. <laughs> it was Always someone, go as a four or a two. was always on their own. <laughs> and it was scary. <laughs> we had to rotate. It was scary. It was like, right, it's your turn to go on your own now. It's your turn to go on your own. Oh, and this it, ride's my own. My, I'm on my own. It was that, it was that first one we went on. And I was Nemo. on my own. Nemo. Nemo. Look at me with the arm. It's Nemo. It's going to be so cute and fun. So cute and fun. That I'm was, going backwards. That was the best. Strapped in. First of all, it said, ears off. Oh, fuck. Ears off. I thought this was the fucking kids ride, okay? <laughs> fucking ears off. Oh, Mickey Mouse is. about to fucking happen. Ears off. Ears in the bag. I had to wrap my bag, my, my, my crossbody bag around my ankle, right? Because I've got nowhere mm. else to put it. Mm. I'm, those two are back there, whatever, fucking <laughs> roller coaster enthusiasts. I'm going backwards. Ears off. <laughs> it was fucking horrible. Can I just say as well, the second time yes. we went on, I had to go yes. backwards and it was so much <laughs> worse. <laughs> Horrible. And you felt like you were going to fall, fall out. out. Right? that steep climb. All right. You were facing yes. down. And I was like, ah. <laughs> The climb is like that. You're like, I'm going to fucking fall out. And then the two of them are behind you giggling. Because also, because there's two of them. Arms up, arms up. Do you want to fuck off? You know, I just did that. That's what my mum does. I have to blur that for the YouTube. It's not appropriate content. Long thing. <laughs> but yeah, so so odd numbers are cursed. So, hi girls. I love the pod. Thank you. Thank you. Here's my dilemma. My friend group has to be an odd number. Why? Maybe this is where you guys are going wrong. If you had an even number, you wouldn't have to ride in, maybe. No, but why is she saying but she's saying it know. has to be odd? So the beginning of secondary school, year ten specifically, my friends and I were a group of seven. Then April 2021, we were a group of six. Okay. Towards the end of May, Susan brought Brian into the group with open arms. Making you a seven. Brackets, if you read my last dilemma, titled, I hate my... <laughs> <laughs> titled what? I hate my best friends. We've got part one and part two. If you would read the first <laughs> extract of the novel titled, like fucking essay, titled, I Hate My Best Friend. In capital. <laughs> it's the same Susan I was talking about, oh, right? So you hate this girl. You hate your best friend. <laughs> we should read that. It's now July 2021 and Brian cool. got added into the group chat. He's officially part of our friend group, so we're back to being a group of seven. So, Sorry. So am I right to assume that this is a mixed group? Yes. Yes. Fast forward two years to today. I have yeah. started year 12 and a girl in my friend group got kicked out. So we're back to being a group of six. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> You're cut. You're out. That's fucking scary. Recently, scary. I've started to notice another girl trying to force her way into our friend group, making us a group <laughs> of seven. Which I don't like. Barricade! She's not welcome. <laughs> right, okay, so the so reason why seven, I hate it six. is when we're a group of seven, is that I'm always the person that gets left out. Oh, so she hates it Got as well. It. 
got it. My friend group does this habit that we'd all be together as a group, but talk in pairs. Since seven is an odd number, one person will always be left out. That person always happens to be me. When oh. I try to force myself into the conversation, it never works. What do you girls suggest I do? Okay, so actually you do want an even number friendship group. But you're in an odd num. You're in you're in an even number right now. You don't like it when it's seven. You don't like it. You want to keep it at six. Right. So what was the title then? Friend group needs to be an odd number. So you mean? So you meant even. even. <laughs> so we had that whole conversation at the start um, for no reason. Because <laughs> because yeah. Okay. So yeah, odd is bad. Mm, We've odd been is saying bad. That three's a crowd. Listen. Okay. You um. Okay. No, but this is serious. No. So so for some reason, when they're all in the group, they're just talking in pairs. Mm. you feel right. like you've not got a anchor in this group an anchor in the group that's you exactly feel it. like you know that you're not the glue in this group i feel like that's the also, vibe so it sounds like quite a flaky group but they're just kicking kicking people off out. people you, you know out. so uh helen got kicked out earlier this year <laughs> oh you, you probably think no i next yeah i feel like you don't feel that secure in the group yes and i get it like you're in year 12 it's pretty crucial at that point in life. Yes. Feeling well, like you have a group yes. is pretty and like, crucial like when you're at school. 18, I know the feeling. Ni- 19? 17, 17, 17. Yeah. You're feeling a bit more grown. Mm. Are you wanting to kind of find your like best friends, people? people and maybe people. you're kind of observing the group and thinking, well, those two are really close. You know, yeah. I've, I'm in a group, but I've not got a best friend within this group. Yeah. That's yeah. all the kind of thoughts that are yeah. going through your head, isn't yeah. it? Because any, any like big groups we've ever experienced, there are clearly like, well, those two are besties. Mm. And those, those two three. are besties. And those three, they're, they're always hang out, but but we're all a group, mm. right? So if you don't feel like you have that in a group, that can be really hard. Because yeah. yeah, like you said, like you just always naturally feel excluded especially if those two are hanging out the weekend or those two are talking about something that they did last night and yeah you don't feel like you have that mm-hmm. okay so I how would can say we avoid this <laughs> new addition being brought into the group <laughs> i would say that you won't feel like this forever yeah and school is like notoriously clicky mm-hmm. and it's unfortunately kind of part of it and i don't think anyone really goes through school without experiencing any friendship hardship this and social yes. whatever yes um it's and not like this outside of school are so hard to maneuver as well mm. and they're so hard to work at you know especially like a big group like that yeah you know and they're so hard to maintain yeah they so are. i wouldn't beat yourself up about the fact that you know you don't feel super i mean we never felt part of uh, no of, we didn't of, of of a group no you know but 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 we were looking we had each we always other. had each other you know but friendships are one of those things like school it's it's a place like no other it's a place when it like comes to friendships no and dynamics other, right? that's what i mean like i wouldn't i would just honestly if i were you i would just try and like hunker down mm-hmm. just see it through just right. try and keep the peace make life easy for yourself stick to the girls and the guys that you feel like you have a genuine connection with and yeah. try not to get too caught up in the dynamics of group shit politics yeah and 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 everyone i'm sure everyone likes you and i'm sure everyone values you as a friend you know i'm an overthinker as well like, me too so i feel like i, I could... can convince myself that everyone right, hates me if exactly. i if i la- so, leave myself alone exactly. too so long. i feel like if i was you i'd probably be thinking the same thing oh my god well sarah's talking to susie they're not really talking to me right now mm. la 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 but you know they've not kicked you out yet you safe you know they kicked helen out why not you got to be something mm. there was something good there mm. so you have got some glue on you yeah. you are sticking so it together I think back yourself like no you know what i deserve to be in this friendship group i'm a great person yeah you know i'm a great friend you lot are lucky to even have me in this fucking mm. group. i might leave on my own you're lucky i've not made this group a group of five you're mm. fucking lucky I so what we're gonna do then when we go to disneyland exactly. paris exactly what are you gonna do then because mm. odd numbers are bad Holly, you're gonna be on your own and yeah. back <laughs> Holly, you're a grown up fucking Nemo. I'm Sarah. <laughs> right? So, like, back yourself. Like, yeah. Like, I'm an amazing friend and I'm an amazing person. And, and just think, like, what lucky. will be, will be. Like, don't try not to get caught up in new people coming in or you mm. feeling like you're out because what's going to happen will happen and you overthinking it and worrying about it won't change any of well, that. Well, well, and I would just have faith that you're going to make great friends in life and you will find your people in life. And just because you may not have found 
really great, great friends within the hundred girls in your year group right. doesn't mean that when you leave school and you go to uni or you start a job or you just have, go about life, just go about life yeah. and meet someone in a in a gym or in a class or whatever, like you can meet people anywhere. Yes. And I wouldn't worry like you've got all that to look forward to like we got really stressed out with friendships at school and now it's like why did we get all stressed out with that what difference does it make now you know just as you age you're going to meet people naturally yeah and you've got all that to look forward to you do so i get that it feels like the whole world right now because the school is it does so clicky and and groups and popular groups and all this but it doesn't really exist once you leave school and you're in year 12 you're almost at the end and I would just try and keep the peace, make life easy for yourself. And hopefully you've got a few you and know, solid friendships in that group. You yeah. know, I would hope a few of them really value you. Me too. You know, and uh, that's why I think you should back yourself more. Like, no, you know what? I'm a really great friend and you lot, you lot are lucky that yeah. you know, I'm even still here. Mm. You know? Because I saw what you did to Helen. Because I saw what you did to Helen. Mm. You know? So back yourself and, and you're, you're going to make amazing friendships in life. 100%. All along the way. All along the way. So friend groups do need to be an even number. In they our do opinion. need to. They they do. I mean, There's a reason they say threes you know are crowds. Even like say like it's a fucking picnic bench or or or, or, or on benches. Hmm. If it's an odd number, someone is sat facing the wall. When we go out for dinner, yeah, someone's at the end of the table facing no one. You know who's and that? Sometimes it's nothing worse than that. Like it needs to be even. Mm. Mm. Like five of us. No. Yeah. It's not going to work, is it? Unless it's a round table, then we can work. So restaurants with round tables only if you're an odd number. Or group. booths. Or booths. But even then. No, even then, Sophia. Even then. Mm. Even then. You've Talking. got someone on the end of the booth who's got no one opposite them who's trying to lean in. Mm. Yeah, guys. Yeah. Same. <laughs> Same. <laughs> it's just not going to work. Two for the price of one at the bar. Yeah, Drinks. Yeah, yeah. Who's just not oh, getting the deal, God. you know? God. God. It's happy hour. Two for one at the cinema. What was that? Mm, Orange Wednesday. Orange two Wednesday. For one. Who remembers two that? <laughs> So four oh. of you are going to get the deal. The other one, sorry, you're going to have to pay full price, babes. It's just uh-huh. two for one. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, God. Okay, I've slept with my new besties B- BF Boy. boyfriend. Oh, Jesus Christ. How do we get here, hey? How do we get here? thing is, I can, I can, I can see how it's, how it's happened. Can you? Well, yeah, because this is just a new friend. Oh, yeah, and it's like, oh, You know, shit. you're like, oh, this is my new friend. Oh, let's see your boyfriend. Hello. Yeah, and you're like, you sleep with him three times a week back in 2018. I've seen his willy. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen his willy. I've seen his flesh. His, his flesh stick. <laughs> disco stick. I've seen his disco stick. <laughs> Sarah, I'm sorry. No, to please, one second. No, please, I saw... I Sarah, saw. I'm sorry to break it to you, but I've seen his disco stick. <laughs> sorry, what was a disco stick? <laughs> oh, do you not know what a disco stick is? I, I mean, it's peni. <laughs> Wait, sorry, Lady Gaga, I, just... I want to take a red on your disco, disco stick. stick. I saw Brittany Broski refer to a penis as a meat candle. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a meat candle... <laughs> Sarah, I'm, oh, well, sorry. I have seen I'm ever so candle. sorry, but I've seen his meat candle. God. <laughs> meat <laughs> candle. candle. Oh. Oh. oh, okay. Okay, so subject line. I've so, seen my new bestie's meat candle. Ex's boy- boyfriend's meat candle. Help, I've seen my new bestie's meat candle. And I slept boyfriend. with it. Wait, hell, I've slept with my new bestie's boyfriend. Sorry, I got meat candle bestie. <laughs> Disco stick? Hi, girls. Oh, no. Okay. How's this happened? She says so. About two weeks ago, me and my, me and my friend Susie, okay, from uni, went on a night out and ended up meeting these two guys, Steve and Brian. Listen, there's probably two besties scored Steve, Steve and Ryan. Right. Okay, so she went out with her be- with her friend Susie from uni. 
on a night out, we ended up meeting these two guys, Steve and Brian. At first, they were lovely and were green flags all round. Okay. Um, so we had a couple of drinks with them and had a great night. Susie ended up kissing Steve. Ooh. And I ended up getting close with Brian. Oh, okay, Brian. You know what? Always great. Get that work. meat candle <laughs> ready. Absolutely. Get that disco stick pumped up. You know, it's all <laughs> pumped up. <laughs> no, it's always great when and the two besties up. and the two besties align and there's one for each. It's perfect no. for a night out, yeah. you know, or we're going back to his. Yeah, nothing worse when, you know, you're out with your best friend and you mm. meet two best friends, but only one of them's fit. One of them, one of yeah. Fancies. And you've got to entertain the one while your best friend's right. cracking on with And it's the like, other one. you're not really having fun, but you're just doing it for your besties. Mm. kind of shit, but this sounds great. Yeah, this sounds like it's so working. So as soon as you kissed Steve, you were getting close to Brian. Mm, okay. Mm. Where's this going to go? I don't know. Because how are we getting to the subject line? Does you end up with Brian, but you slept with him? Maybe she doesn't realise you slept mm. with the meat and candle. Okay, so... I can never look at a candle the same. I know, especially a long one. Mm. Okay, so... I ended up getting close to Brian. We all ended up going back to Brian's house, which, by the way, was huge and a fucking mansion. Okay. Here's the fun. It's not all about the house. Mm -hmm. but, but it helps. But it helps. <laughs> <laughs> Long story short, Brian and I slept together that night. Mm -hmm. Okay. It was a great night and I really thought we got on and my drunk brain was thinking, this is my new husband. My new husband. Wow. I'm, I'm moving yeah. in. <laughs> Do you know what? We're already at home here. <laughs> Is that a fireplace? I think this Gorgeous. place really suits me. You know, that looks quite good, doesn't it? I think we can However, be very happy here. Oh, God, so this is actually quite messy now. Oh, no, actually, it could not be. Well, we don't know yet. Sorry, sorry. We don't know yet. However, it seemed that once Brian got what he wanted, he turned. Uh, okay. He got angry at both me and Susie and told us to leave immediately. Uh -huh. Okay. We have not spoken since. What a way to ruin the night, Brian. Right, that's disgusting. God, Okay. Like, don't invite us into your home and woo me and then just kick and me out. And then tell me to leave. Like, at least, no. Okay. At least let me lay my head for a couple yeah, hours. at least let me have a sneeze. Bore it up. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'm exhausted. <laughs> so, fast forward. Oh, God, this is, okay. Fast forward to starting back at uni last week. I made friends with this lovely new girl. Oh, no. I know what's coming yeah, now. Same. Let's call her Sarah. Makes Sarah. sense when we started with Susie. Gotcha. We have all become quite close over the past week um, as we were all in the same classes. So we see each other, you know, every day. Okay. Okay. So this is a new friend who's in your class. And then dot, dot, dot. Oh, no. Sarah told me that she had a boyfriend of two years. She said he was going to be in our lecture the next day. So I would get to meet him. Oh, God. Obviously, I didn't think anything of this. Right. Oh, yeah, Why would you? Thinking, oh, God, which guy is it? Mm. Probably slept with him. Mm. So the next day comes around. Guess who walks in? Brian. <gasps> hand in hand with Sarah. Oh, this is like a film. my yeah. God. They sat down right in front of me and Brian's face went bright red. Oh, oh! I bet it did. How embarrassing. Um, That's I why you got angry. Yeah, because you, you slept together and then maybe all the excitement's worn off. He's sobering up and he's thinking, exactly. shit, I've just That's cheated on my is. girlfriend. You need to get That's out. That's what it was. Is he sobered up a little bit. He did the deed. The excitement got him for you. Got get out. Yes. Look what you've made me do. Get oh, out. Babe, you did this all on your own. So I was just sat, so his face went bright red and I was sat in pure shock the entire time. Oh my God. I haven't told Sarah any of this yet. <gasps> I'm not sure how or if I should at all. How do I even bring this up? I don't want to ruin a new friendship, but also don't want her to stay with him as he's clearly a twat. Oh. I can't believe this is even real. Please help. This is such a it's shame. really sad. You, you, you need, need to, to tell, tell her. Sarah. You've got to. You're going to have to tell her because... You, he thinks he's, you know, what a it twat. Mm. You know, he thinks he can sleep with girls on nights out and get away with it. Bring and it'll back never to his house. Boy math. Boy math. That's what he, exactly. So if, if he gets away with it, he's thinking, ka-ching, mm. you know, fucking got away with it. Yeah. So you need to you... be a good friend to Sarah and go, look, Sarah, I know we're new mates. If it was, 
think think if it was you in that situation would you want her to come and tell you probably yeah i think you just keep it pretty simple yeah you just say look i'm sorry to do this to you i know you don't really know me that well i don't know you very well but I just have to be honest. Just say like, I've really, you know, think you're a great person. And mm-hmm. I think we've had a lovely time these past few weeks getting to know each other. Like, I really think you're a really great friend. And I can't believe this is happening. Yeah, they say this is so unfortunate. You know, I wouldn't wish this upon anybody, but yeah. I need to tell you the truth. I can't sit here with, with this on my conscience. Yeah. And just Especially explain. if you're bringing Brian into these lectures. Just explain. Just say like, me and Sarah. You've met Sarah, you know Sarah. Oh, Susie, Susie. sorry. You we went on a Susie, night out. You? We went on a night out two weeks ago. Yeah. She got talking to Steve. I got talking to Brian, your boyfriend. Um, didn't know at the time, obviously. He was flirting me. He, he didn't say he had a girlfriend. He no. said he was a single guy. Yeah. He was flirting with me. He invited me back to his house. Yeah. Like, explain to her, paint her the picture, give her all the context, all the context. tell her what happened, and be like, you know, we did sleep. You know, afterwards, he made me leave. Just tell her everything, like you've told us. And just be like, like, in hindsight, it, it, I didn't it, think anything else of it. Yeah. I just thought it was like a one night stand, whatever. When you mentioned you were bringing your boyfriend and I thought you didn't think anything of it. Yeah. And then like when you walked into the door in the, the, the lecture hall with him, like I could not believe my eyes. And I've just, I've just got, just spit it out. Just literally just tell her. And then just say, like, I'm not judging you. Like, you do whatever you want to do. Like, I understand if you don't really want to look at me right now because you might, like, yeah. I understand if you feel a yeah. bit of animosity towards me now. Like, because yeah. she's going to be angry. Yeah. But she should direct her anger towards She, she, Brian, she absolutely but should. naturally, it's not going to be nice to see the girl sat in front of you who was with your boyfriend. Yeah. Um, so just be under- try and be understanding of that. And yeah. just give her all the information. And she's like, look, you do make whatever choice you want. Yeah. But, like... I just got to let you know because I think you're a really great girl, and this, this Brian is a walking twat. Yeah, what an idiot! Think and if anything, that. yeah, it's really happened for a reason. Because if you and her weren't friends, then you wouldn't yeah. have known. Like, she's yeah. found out that I her boyfriend. It wouldn't be. I think he's probably cheated on her before. No, it sounds like he. I mean, but it does check. You know that when he kicked them out, yeah, that's like massive guilt setting in, panic, uh, and panic. So that could have been the first time, but maybe it doesn't matter. Or he's him and Steve, because Steve, you're a you're a bad friend. Have you well. got a girlfriend as well, Steve? Yeah, I wouldn't put it past Steve. Mm. Like, but slimy Steve, <laughs> slimy Steve. But yeah, no, I think it might be a really great bonding moment for the two of you. Might, Hopefully. You two might become real great friends. Hopefully. Because maybe something like this has happened before. She's like, you know what? I gave him a second chance. Mm. And he's fucked up again. Yeah. And, you know, I was emotionally actually checked out. I was just waiting to see if he was going to fuck up. You know, we don't yeah. know what that situation is. And she might be like, look, I'm really grateful for you for telling me. Because mm. you could have just kept it from her, told everyone else. And it, you know, she could have been the only one who was not in on the secret. Mm. Yeah, don't no. make it. Don't make it gossip. No, just go straight to exactly. her. Tell her. That's why I think she'll really appreciate it. Because yeah. some, sometimes things like this, they get a bit, you know, gossipy, and it's like, oh, we can't tell her, we can't tell her, mm. and then everyone scandalous. Else knows, everyone else knows apart from you, the one person who should know. Mm-hmm. So, like, I th- hopefully she'll really appreciate it. She will do. I should hope so. Um, and I think you two could be best mates. Work you, it out. Like, it's nice when you've got a common ground of hating one man. Nothing will bind girls no, together more than more that. bonding than that. So I feel like you two have got great friendship ahead of you. Okay, next one. Very guilty. She uh, she wrote a note slagging me off. Oh, pen and paper. Yeah, with the pen and paper for giving old fashioned mm. advice. But you know that you, the fact that she did that shows that she really needed. She to had get to get that, that out. Paper. It wasn't just going to work on the notes out. It wasn't mm. just going to work on a text. Hey she girls, has to do it the old-fashioned way. So I've been in a friendship group of five. Maybe think about adding one more to that group. Sarah's you know out. That Sarah's goes. out. Sarah, you're out. Since year seven, brackets, okay. we're 24 now. And though it has been mostly yeah. smooth sailing, I have had many problems slash disagreements with a girl who will call Susan. Susie. Nothing major, but I've always gotten a toxic vibe from her ever since we were kids. She lies about things for no reason and has a history of making comments about my body. Okay, oh. so, there's, so there's one girl in the group that you don't really fuck with. Oh, that's anyway, it's a shame. One day in early April, I called her out on one of these comments and another fight broke out. Nothing major, but Susan has a tendency of walking away and ignoring the problem whenever confronted. 
So she stormed off to the toilets in the club we were at afterwards. What does the rest of the group think of her then? Are they just no. kind of coasting along with the bad behaviour as well? Or is, or is it more like geared towards you? Because I, I don't feel like know. Toxic people like that, they they generally do it to everyone. They do. It, it and everyone's group. a little bit afraid of them. And everyone's a little bit like, oh, didn't really like that. But oh, I guess we'll just brush it under the, the mm. carpet. But I didn't think much of it since she acted like nothing was wrong the next day. But I've recently learned there was much more to the story. So this all happened alcohol fueled in the club. So you yeah. basically called her out yeah. on some shit Look. that she's been saying. Yeah. And, and she, she stormed, off. stormed off. But the next day seemed normal. So you thought that was the end of okay. it. One of the girls in my group, who we'll call Sarah, has been best friends with Susan since they were four. Okay, okay. so that's why Susan is She's still, still in the group. And un un under any other circumstances, Susan would be, be out. out. Despite this, however, me and her are very close, and she has agreed with me in the past that Susan can be toxic. Oh, okay. But has never done anything about it. One day earlier this week, I got a message from one of Sarah's other friends saying that she needed to tell me something. Okay, she so this isn't Sarah, this isn't Susie's bestie, but this is another girl who... She explained that Sarah had confided in her, telling her that after getting home from this night out, she had received a text draft from Susan's notes page, slagging me off. Oh, so it was on the old-fashioned way, it was on the note. Calling me a bitch, etc. Okay. Okay. So, wait, how did this end up in, in, in those hands? It, it was accidentally said so after that night out mm. where susan stormed off yes. susan sent sarah a text a draft text to send that she wanted to send to you maybe but she was sending it to sarah for maybe not even sent to you she sent them something to just sarah get, just getting it up just and sarah's told her other mate like god susan sent me this text about holly she hates stuff. her blah blah, okay. blah and her her mates yeah decided to tell you. to you well yeah Obviously, I confronted Sarah about this. Okay. And she told me that it was true and that after that night out, she had asked two of the other girls in the group, who we'll call Jane and Mary, if she should tell me. Mark, Luke and John. <laughs> Matthew, Mark, Luke, Luke and John. John. Bartholomew. <laughs> if she should tell me about what Susan had done, to which they both said no. Well, okay. So they're saying she's not done it. No, no. Oh. So Sarah's told two other friends in the group, yeah. Susan sent me this awful text right. about Barbara. Right. We call our girl Barbara. About oh. Barbara. Should I tell her? And oh, the they said no. And they said, no, 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 don't tell her. I mean, I, I, I can So see you're feeling a bit betrayed by the whole group yes. now because no one's told you. Yes. I can see from their perspective, like they, they're all aware of Susie's toxic tendencies and they're probably trying to like not relight the fire. Damage control. I, I understand that from that aspect. But also like you have you need to defend yourself and you have a right to know what someone is saying about you, especially to your other friends. Mm. Sarah was extremely apologetic and explained that although it wasn't an excuse, she didn't want to cause drama mm. and thought she would be protecting me by not saying anything. Right. To add more context, there had been a night out in late April where after a few too many drinks, Sarah had began to drunkenly ramble about something um, that Susan had said on text, but I had to leave with Mary before I could understand what was being said. When I asked Mary about it, she brushed me off and said, Sarah can be really two-faced, don't listen to her. And so I hadn't thought any more about it. Okay, so you, you're saying there was a similar incident back in April? No, so she's saying that she overheard Sarah talking about it with the other girls. The same incident. The same incident. Oh. But you had to leave with Mary. Got it. And Mary said, oh, don't, don't worry about that. Got it. I've been coming up with plans as to how I should confront Susan. And I've decided there is one of two ways. Yeah. Either I can try and have a genuine conversation, ask her why she'd wrote it. Although I can't help but think that Susan might not respond well to that mm -hmm. and just walk away again. Yeah. Or I can simply say, I know what you did and I think you're a bitch. <laughs> and here's a punch to the face. <laughs> I punched a gun in the face once. I know you did. It was only like six. Yeah. But I gave her a nose you really She was a bitch. Fight. She was horrible. Yeah. You met her as well. Yes, she was, I she was horrible. Her. My mum wasn't even angry at me because she was mean. Sometimes violence is the answer. I remember that my brother told me to punch Never. her, so I did. But violence is not the no, answer. But when joking. you're five or six. Yeah. When you're five or six, violence you can get away is with it. the answer. But... Yeah, because yeah, she didn't, she didn't, she won't mean to me again. Yeah, exactly. You march your territory. Sometimes you have to stand up for yourself so in this I'm life. Not afraid to use these. Look at these big fists. <laughs> Look at this. I've got these, I'm not afraid to use them. <laughs> Lydia used to scratch. Oh, I'm that not was being a scratcher. I've got many a scar. Mm. But the problem with that 
is that I really need closure as I've known this girl for 13 years. Yeah, so uh, so which path should I go down and how should I feel about all my other friends not telling me for over yeah. six months? So this all happened in April. You've just found out, hence why you're right, writing this in. This is why I got confused about the April comment. Okay, so that makes sense that it happened a while ago. Yeah, and it was the, an external friend that's actually told you. Yeah. So by the way, Sarah got a yeah. text. And so, then they were all kind of like, oh, we didn't, well, we didn't want to tell you because, mm. you know, and you're just like, well, who, who's my real friend here? She's saying we we hang out weekly and there's no one thought to tell me a word. She's so still hanging out with Susie. She said, thanks, a stressed listener. So basically, you just feel a little bit betrayed by the whole group because yeah. you're in this friendship group. There's always been a bit of a problem with one girl and you found out from a different girl that's not even in the group yeah. that she's wrote a whole two-page power two-page note whatever notes, confession that she hates you mm. and you just sort of feel like no one's told you yeah you feel a bit left out because yeah. everyone has known this but you've been none the wiser yeah um it's a shame that Susie you know has like a best friend in the group because you shouldn't be friends with Susie doesn't sound uh, like Susie she doesn't even deserve a second chance she doesn't even deserve a conversation I know uh, I think like you like anyone who is friends with someone like Susie it's draining mm. it's exhausting friendship should be fun and easy and effortless and like a great time we should just be like oh you know it we're not like saying nasty things about each other behind their back and and, no. and you know it, it, that is not a friendship no so it's a shame that you you kind of have to make well it's a shame or... that like i don't know it doesn't sound i guess we no don't one know else is so who's standing around. up for you yeah who's being like susan you're a fucking it, bitch it, chill out relax yeah it's like a shame. we're all trying to be friends here why have you got a vendetta against barbara, barbara. Yeah, like it's a, it's a real shame that everyone's kind of being hush hush about it. And it's like, mm. oh, well, we can't, we can't bring I that guess drum because I understand. Susie's going to get angry again. I understand from their view, they just sort of thought, keep the peace. let's keep the peace. I do understand. Ignorance is bliss. Yeah. She doesn't need to know that she said these nasty things well, about her. Day, I guess you don't really want to know when someone said something nasty about you, I guess. I guess it was just you just feel like everyone else knew this. Yeah, and that's not fair. It's kind of a lose-lose because if they did tell you, then you'd know what she said. Yeah. If they don't tell you, you've now... It's unfortunate, it's I guess, like that you found out. something from you. Mm -hmm. It's... I mean, my... It's the greatest shame is that you still have to pro possibly see Susie all the time. Like, yeah. I think she she is not worthy of your friendship. Mm. And you two clearly are, are, are not aligned and shouldn't really be friends. And it's a shame that you kind of forced her to in be in the same group. group because you both like mutual people. Yeah, so that is a shame. But I also think that is quite common in friendship groups. and Especially from school. Yeah, because you want to... There's a couple of people in there that you like. Yeah. So you don't want to leave the group. These yeah. are my friends. Yeah. And it's like as a as a price to pay is suffering this one person that I don't yeah. get on with. Yeah. yeah. Um so how do you go about it? So her two options were what? Is so it why is did it, you why, just sit her down and go, why did you write this? It's fucking not on. This is, is it worth like sitting down as a group? The five group. members of the group yeah. and just being like, look, let's just get this out in the air. Let's keep it calm. Just see for the past six months. But, you know, let's just start from the beginning and, and maybe just like start talk it out because it might even be that like you and is it what's the Susan? Susie so is the one who wrote the letter. Around. Susie. Sarah is Susie's best friend. Mm. Barbara wrote It might even be that you and, and Susie. And Jane and Mary are in the group too. <laughs> like you and Susie sort of like low key hate each other, but you don't even really know why. Like, could it mm. be a case of like you guys actually talking it out, having a conversation and be like, actually... Like, does it, is it just something that needs to be aired out? Have things just been swept under the rug for so long? Yeah, I or feel like, look, this is your is it group. Is it salvageable? So I would try and talk to Susie on her own first. One on one. She's the one who wrote this nasty thing about you. She needs to be called out by you. And you need to let her know that this is not okay. And look, I'm willing to move past it, if you are. Mm. Um, but we need to come to some sort of this. This can't be happening again. Like, I'm trying to enjoy my life for the sake right of the now, group. You're making, you know, you're really causing a lot of stress on my life for the sake of the group. For the sake of the group, right? Mm. So, and and try and have a calm. I mean, we don't know how she's going to react, but try and like have a, you know, um, a beneficial conversation for the both of you. Produ see, productive. That's the word. And see if you can both like move on from it mm. and start there. 
And then if she, if and then if you're not and maybe to her, then go to her best friend, go to the other members of the group. Maybe you just ask her like. Is there anything that I've done wrong? Is there anything that you want to like say to me? Right. Like get it off your chest. Yeah. Like because I feel like she's harboring yeah. up shit yeah. and then exp- and then going. Yeah. Rah, 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 rah. yeah. Like if there's anything you want to say or anything yeah. that you felt like I've not apologized to you for, like if there's anything that you want to say to me, like mm-hmm. let's let's do it mm-hmm. now. Like you get things off your chest, she can get things off her mm-hmm. chest, and just sort of see where the land lies. Because it will get to the point where you're sick of it and you th- you'll say I can't be part of this group anymore because mm. there's too much too much i've mm. got susie over there chatting shit about me i've got you lot not telling me what's going on like this is not a friendship to me this is not fun fun friend no. time. and it's not fun for your friends either because no, they're anyone. like oh god well what will that be we've got to keep them separate blah blah blah, blah. Yeah. like it's not sustainable like and you will end up just focusing on your piece and leaving the group mm. you know so talk to talk her to susie and let's see what's going off but it's it this is it this, she's not a friend it's a shame that the other, no one else in the group is sort of standing up for you. Yeah, that's the biggest And shame. being like, that's not on, yeah. like... Or calling her out. It's kind of like, oh, well, those two can sort it out between them. I'm not getting involved. Yeah. Wait. Well, it's sort of like, you said in your email, like, everyone kind of thinks that she's a bit toxic, but, like, no I mean, one you... really wants to do anything about it because you've been friends for so long. And... You know, she's probably... what you know they're probably quite scared to go against her. Yeah, on the wrong side. In fear of going getting on the wrong side of Susie mm. because they've seen that you've got on the wrong side. Right. And they've seen what's happened. Mm. Right. Which is a shame. Talk to her. Yeah. And talk to the other girls in the group and yeah. just be like, guys, what are we doing here? Yeah. What are we doing here? This is, this is no fun friendship. What happens when we're, we're like, go, but what happens when we want to go on holiday next summer? I know. And it's just like, this is not the, this is not good vibe. Well, it's just sort of like, you know, we're it's, not at school anymore. Like yeah. we're 25 year olds. Like, can we not just I feel sort like this out? Barbara, Barbara, I feel like you'll get to the point where you will meet some new girls. You'll be like, you know what? This is, this is, this is, this is friendship. Mm. The, you know, this is way easier, mm. you know, and, and, more fun and you might meet some other people it'll kind of i think you won't be so stressed about Susie, and mm. and maybe you'll only see them or is occasionally. there like one or two girls in this group that you really really value I mean, I imagine there is. and it's sort of like look i'm just going to focus on my friendship with these yeah. two or this one and i'm just going to try and block out the rest of this shit Locking and just the see, them on, like, the see them on like mutual occasions yeah. you know yeah because it's hard i feel like a lot of people have to deal with like a couple people that don't really like for it the sake hard. of the group You're not the only person that does it that um but i feel like you will get to your breaking point yeah. especially if more shit like this keeps happening yeah so maybe talk to her and try look get it off i think, chest. Try, I think saying what you want to say just get it out yeah. and she might feel better and then you yeah. might hate each other less yeah Right, should we do one more? Yeah, should we roulette it? Oh, okay. My boyfriend vandalized my friend's car. What on earth? Beans. She just put that. My boyfriend vandalized my friend's car. Go on then. Hey, okay. guys. I have had a rough day today. <gasps> this has happened today. This Unload, has happened today. girl. She sent the email in five minutes ago. Oh my God, this and is live. This is live. She said, I've had a rough day today for context. Me and my boyfriend and friends are all in our last year of A-levels. So we've had a lot of school. Yeah. So last night after school, one of my friends in my girl group of five. The cursed number. There's something weird going on today. What is going on today? Something weird in the water. There actually is though. That's weird. We've never had that. Okay. So last night after school, one of my friends in my girl group five uh, messaged the group chat upset saying someone had vandalized her car. In the sixth form car park. <gasps> not in the sixth, in the form, sixth form car park. Not where the teachers are. Uh, which only teachers and students students have access. Yeah, mm. we had one too. Yeah, we had one too. Her windscreen wipers were all turned up. <gasps> petrol thingy, I don't I don't drive, so no don't know the term, was open. Oh, oh the petrol. Uh, and one of her wipers was broken, so she need she will need to fix this to get it repaired. Of course we were all worried because she is she said she cried the whole way home, was so upset. Aww. Hers was the only car it was done to. Oh. Everyone knows That's her little nice. black Fiat. You know. Oh, a Fiat. Yeah, it's with a so w- jealous. With a personalized number plate. Oh, hey. that's cool. That's cool. That's very nice number plate. Very nice. So this oh, was personal. That's my dream car. That is my dream car too. This was personal. Mm. She said. 
Um, and we had suspicions it was done by a group of girls and boys in our year who we don't really like. This is <sighs> we are the Capulets and we rule Verona. We are the Montagues Isn't that what and it's we giving? rule Verona. Yeah, I don't like this. Good battle God, of I'm the group. I'm so glad that I'm not at school anymore. I know. I really did. Not okay, enjoy so it. your friend was upset. Her black beautiful fiat has been vandalized your first suspicions are well it's that group of girls and that group of boys because we hate them but really it was your boyfriend well apparently <gasps> um okay my boyfriend and my friend's mums are friends your boyfriend's mum my boyfriend and friend's mums are friends your boyfriend's mum and your friend's mums mums are friends um or your boyfriend's mates with all your friend's mums <laughs> My boyfriend hangs out with all our friends, all my friends' mums. Janet, Stacy, Janet, Stacy, Susan, and mm. right. Um, uh, don't rate each other, but it's not malicious. They just don't really like each other very much. But no arguments or anything crazy. Who the mums? Right. Is that the mums? Mm. All right. Okay. Battle of the so, housewives. Right. It's again with the Montagues and the Capula. Mm. So. So today, the heads of the year were, t were told. Oh, so it was like somebody's colours vandalised last night in the assembly. <laughs> oh my God, in the assembly. <gasps> oh, That's scary, isn't God. it? Uh, so today, the heads of the year were told, and year 13 were told that they would be checking cameras. Mm. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you would shit yourself if you were the vandalist. Everyone's going, oh. Wait, is, that, oh. is that the word, the van vandalist? The vandalist. The vandalist. Yeah. Shit. Not the cameras. Oh, oh shit. So they're taking this seriously. Oh, it was always a threat. But we are we are going to be checking cameras. Cameras we will be if no one comes forward today before noon. We will be checking all CCTV cameras. That was always a threat. <laughs> Catch the culprit in the act. It's that tone though, isn't it? Mm. If no one comes forward. Fine, because there is someone here who knows what <laughs> happened. There is somebody here who knows exactly what's happened to Sarah's black fiat. <laughs> and you're all just silent. Uh, and if no one comes forward, the consequences will be greater. And I think we're going to have to contact mm -hmm. the authorities. The we police. will be writing a letter to the parents. Stop. Right, okay, shit. Oh my God, and on these cameras is your <laughs> little boyfriend. Well, we don't know that yet. Um, so said they would be checking cameras, and that whoever it, it whoever it was would be hearing from the police. <gasps> yeah, obviously, of right? Of course, because you're va you vandalized yeah. someone's property. Just before this announcement, I told my boyfriend what happened to her car, and he had because also me, like wait 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 he, wait he had told me it was him. Ah! <laughs> you're harboring the secret too. <laughs> you're an accomplice. I'm an accomplice to the crime. <laughs> Oh shit. Why? Why? So just before the announcement, she was sat at the assembly going, oh my God, <laughs> heart beating. <laughs> I'm an accomplice, not an accomplice. What? So just before the announcement, I told my boyfriend what had happened to her car. He had told me it was him and his friends being silly. But you don't just grab a wi win window wiper and snap and it. Snap it. But also, what if she had to drive home in the rain? That's really dangerous. That's really sad and dangerous. Because um, also, like, if you actually deep it, like, it's kind of spooky. Like, you come back to your car it's and, like, scary. your petrol cap's open. Like, it's like it's been fiddled with. You're thinking, oh, yes. my God, has someone, like, been in my car? Like, a yes. someone... Like, I always remember my mum um, came back to her car once and the... The... Um, What's that called? Like in the passenger seat, there's that glove box. Oh, the glove box. Everything from the glove box was on the front seat and Ooh. like had been spilled out. And like, it's a bit like spooky. It's like, oh my God, what, what's who's, happened? What is, like, who's touched Someone's this? been in here. Yeah. Like, it's unsettling, isn't it? Mm. It's not, it, even if your window's not being smashed, yeah. it's still like, oh my God, this yeah. is weird. It's and scary. It, especially in, in in like the school parking lot. Like, it feels personal. It it's feels like, very what personal. Is it? Who hates me? Mm. You know, what have I done? You mm. know, who, it, it's like revenge. It, it's like someone's out to get you and it's it, really unsettling it's scary it's giving it's like a it's like a teen movie it, it's giving like pretty little liars yeah. vibes it's my, not nice it's not nice I had my car window smashed what's horrible oh gosh yeah remember that i think i do actually the Nissan. yes yes scary yes. it's really horrible yes so he said it was him and his friends so why being the fuck silly? was it the boyfriend and then the head of the year did her little speech about it 
My boyfriend then told my friend it was him after the speech. And she was... Oh, so she told the, the friend. She was angry and really off with me for it. What have I done? It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Oh, God. She just hates you by association. Yeah. Uh, it was angry and really off with me for it because she thought I'd known all, it was him all along. I guess. Okay. This damage is going to cost money to fix. I've been off with my boyfriend and sent him text displaying that. How do I proceed? I find it so disrespectful to me that he'd do that to my friend's car, one of my best friend's car. I feel really embarrassed, but he's acting quite smug about it. Oh. oh. We've been together for two and a half years. We've been on holidays together. Sat I him value up. him in my life. I've attached pictures of me and him. No. Uh, as well as text. Oh my God. As well as some text between me and him. Oh after my God. The incident. Oh my God. my God. Oh my God. Of him being a dick. I don't know what to do. Oh God, we'll get three texts. Oh my God. Okay. This is a text that he said, I put her window wipers up, Susie. Everyone does it to everyone. It's not the end of the world. Like, it's just not that deep. You're not my mum. Stop having a go at me on her behalf. Oh! oh. Fuck off. <gasps> Fuck off. She won't drag it on, Susie. You've done nothing wrong. And the girls will obviously stick up for you. She's in a mood. Fair enough. But it won't go any further. And if it does, then she has her own issues. What? <laughs> What? I didn't put jokes over your feelings. You're not remotely involved in the situation whatsoever. Ew. What does that mean? He's saying you're not even involved. Like, lead him. Dump him. Dump him. What a loser. What a loser. Dump him. Just dump him. You're at school. Just dump him. You will look back and you will tell your husband and kids about that one boyfriend you had at school. Look, you vandalised you... your friend's car. And you will you will howl at the story. Yeah. Well, just be you? like, you're a weirdo. You're a freak. You are a weirdo. What boyfriend of mine is vandalising my friend's car? No, you've embarrassed no. me. Say you've embarrassed me. me. And I can't have a boyfriend who's going out here embarrassing me. And say like, you're fucking with my friend, with the no. with the dynamics of my friendships. And like- You're really showing I, your age? Mm, so mature. It's so and mature. And just say like, you know, you've- This is why I should date guys a few years older than me. College guys? You're really sh college guys? Uni guys. Because <laughs> you're really showing your age Gap right now. Gap here, guys. Gap here, guys. This is you know really guys embarrassing. You real jobs. You also <laughs> love things for. <laughs> and just say, like, you've embarrassed me. Like, you're making my friends question me. Yes. You're making my friends look at me different. Yes. I'm not having my friends fall out because of shit that you're doing. I'm not letting a boy, a, a, a child, get in between my friendship. Yeah. Friendships before guys always. And just say, like, I don't appreciate it. No. Like, if I was, like... You're not even apologising to no. me. No. You're literally defending it. It was just a silly joke. No, it wasn't. Who's laughing? Who's laughing? No, she was crying. You won't be laughing when the police show up at your door. <laughs> take you to prison. You won't be laughing when the feds come up you and take you out to the cell. Because I've called them. And they're on their way. <laughs> oh. Did he get arrested, though? I don't know. Could the police could have called. Could have just been a threat. <laughs> no, but like, I, I say to your friend, Get get the take, take take it further. Action, take it further. Get the lawyers. So <laughs> I'd, like see, I'd like to see him defend himself in court. <laughs> I'll take the stand as a witness. <laughs> I'll defend your not, character. You can't get away with it. That is not <laughs> funny. It's really not funny. It's really weird. Serious. No, just I would break up with him because he's Child. causing problems between your friendship yes. groups and it, like no no and it wasn't a funny joke. You vandalised her car. Mm. You, you, you're ruining my friendships now. Yeah. So you don't respect me and my friendships. And my think, peace. And my peace. And you think you can just not apologise and get away with it and defend yourself and think it's okay and think I'm going to no. forgive you. No. No, because I deserve way better than that. Mm. Like I said, I should be dating guys 25 and plus. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. If you're serious about courting a woman like me, <laughs> act like it. Act like it. true though you will laugh about this one day with your husband and your kid mm. you'll tell you'll tell your 18 year old oh, when i was 18 i had this one boyfriend mm. we actually vandalized my friend's car I had to dump him straight away mm. right would you would you rule out for one more yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay right i'm gonna just roll the dice right and chintzy tell me when to stop well three two one please stop 
Okay, we've got last one. Um, girl talky again. I fancy the guy my best friend hooked up with. He's my type to a T. This is quite a healthy dilemma, so just buckle up. Hell, oh, oh, oh. I fancy my best friend's hookup. This is a long story, so buckle up. I'm 20 year old female. Me and my best friend have known each other for four years. Okay. We became best friends in the spring because we both got out of long term toxic relationships at the same time. Good for you. Incredible. Real bonding experience that. It truly is. We really bonded over it, yep. And I absolutely love her. She is the sweetest, kindest person I've ever met. She's been nothing but kind Aww. to me. Me and her are different in some ways. I am talkative and outgoing, whereas it's more difficult for her to open up. Let's mm -hmm. call her Sarah. Sarah. One night, me and Sarah went, and a couple more friends went to a party. While there, a friend texts me asking to hang out. Let's call him Tim. So Tim Skippy. and I, Timothy so, Chalamet. So Tim and I have quite a history. I met him a year ago. Me and Tim became friends. We would often drink together with friends. It was fun. But Tim is a flirt. He flirts a lot with my girlfriends around me. I know he's a flirt. He's always flirted with me. But I knew that's just how he is. That's but Tim. there has been a couple of times where we've kissed when we've been drunk. So you two were like, you have chemistry. But then you're like, oh, but Tim is like he this with everyone. Oh, we've piece. kissed a couple of times and we've been drunk. That's sort of it. We're kind of friends, whatever. But the day after, I wouldn't feel different about him. He was like a fling, whatever. It's weird because when I'm with him, I don't really fancy him or see him as attractive. It's not weird. Just when I'm drunk, mm -hmm. I do. Okay, so when you get drunk, you sort of just yeah, kiss. I get it. Everyone's got those Everyone, people. Everyone's got those people. It's just like, oh, I'll probably kiss Tim tonight. Yeah. I've cut him off uh, after I got back with my ex. Okay. But ever since my breakup, him and I have got back in touch. Okay. So back to the party. Got it. I text him to come to this party. He comes and brings another friend, okay. Brian. <laughs> Brian, Brian is a really good looking guy. My exact type mm. to a T. Mm -hmm. At the time, I didn't really think about it. Mm -hmm. I did mention to Sarah that he was super attractive and that she should go for it. <laughs> for Brian. For Brian. I kind of knew Tim would cock block me, so I didn't even try. Yes. So Brian, Tim, my best friend and I are having a lot of fun at this party, drinking, dancing, whatever. Mm -hmm. We had so much fun to the point where we were super drunk. So Brian and Tim took me and Sarah to Brian's place. Ooh. I didn't feel weird or uncomfortable going because I knew Tim and he's not a stranger. Yeah. While we're in the car, um, Sarah and Brian are getting along really, really well. Ooh. Tim and I are snogging. <laughs> Snog me now. Snogging. That word just meant that. Tim and I have a little snogging. snogging. It was as if we were a couple. Okay. Okay. So we got to his place. One thing led to another. Tim and I had sex. Okay. Okay. It was something wild to me because Ooh. he was genuinely a friend. Um, yeah. And, and, and do you, this is the first time they slept together. Yes. Yeah. Sarah. There's actually something there between you and Tim though. Sarah and Brian also hooked up. Ooh. Okay. So it worked out quite well. Hmm. Um... The next day, Sarah and I talked about it, and we both didn't feel anything with either of them. Okay. We hang out it's a just week. What it was. Yeah, we hang out a week later. Hook up again. Okay. The this time we were sober, oh, and we guys. were all able to talk and just get to know one another. Yeah. What the all four of you? Yeah. Yeah. I was just upset <laughs> at the universe for finally meeting a guy that has a funny personality and is my exact type. But it's Brian. But it's Brian. Me and Sarah haven't yeah. talked to the boy since, mm -hmm. but fast forward four months later, around two weeks ago, we hang out again. As a four. I was really debating on going because I still haven't found anyone that I've been really attracted to since I've been single. Yeah. And I knew that Brian was already off limits, but Sarah has been giving me hints that she wants to talk to Tim. Oh, so you're thinking, oh, well, we could do the old switcheroo. But she said something like, what if we switch? Or what if I end up with Tim? Okay. And also, they have matched on Tinder. Oh, so now you're getting wind that Sarah does actually like Tim. Quite like Tim. Well, that works in your favour because you can't stop thinking about Brian. So we hang out and I just couldn't shake the feeling that there might be chemistry between Brian and I. Mm -hmm. I was even trying to not make eye contact with him because I felt the sexual energy. The eyes, they, the eyes say a lot. The eyes are the windows to the sun. They are. He would always laugh at my jokes and I would always laugh at his. 
Um, so me and Sarah leave. Nothing happens. We just played a game that I forgot at Brian's house. Okay. Bit okay. of Monopoly. Bit of Catan. Fast forward to a week later, I go on Tinder once in a blue moon, and I see that Brian and I have matched. Okay, so we're kind of switcherooing here. Okay, but but you're not like saying it outright to Sarah, like like you're you're just kind of like it's kind of happening under the radar. Yeah, I'd forgotten that I saw him and swiped on him. So he messaged me and said, "You forgot your game at my house." And I said, "Okay." He says, "When do you want to come and pick it up?" I reply, "Bring it to my house. You live far." <laughs> he says, "I'll bring it to yours, and then we can get a coffee." Oh, she's putting capitals. Date. I was shook. Shit. Anyways, we leave it at that. Two days later, we become friends on social media. Okay. So I'm guessing Instagram. Yeah. And that same night, Tim calls me for all of us to hang out. God. I've been kind of stalling on hanging out with them both again because Tim has been wanting to hang out. But do I tell Sarah that Brian and I matched on Tinder? Shit, yeah, because Sarah doesn't know. Oh, sorry, no, but I do tell. But oh. I do. I But I do tell Sarah. I do tell. I do tell that Brian and I matched on Tinder and I showed her a screenshot of our conversation. Okay, okay, this, this is good. That you're she being replied open. with laughing emojis and said, oh my God, would you? I replied. So she's unfazed. Or she seems unfazed. Oh. I replied, probably not. He's a fuck boy. Because I was scared of making her feel yes. uncomfortable. Yes. I don't want to lose her over a boy. So my question is, should we hang out with them again or cut them off? How do I tell her that I have this weird feeling about him? Is this me being a bad friend? Am I overthinking? I'm so worried of losing my best friend, but I also can't shake the feeling. Mm. She's very unconfrontational. So if it were to bother her, I don't think she would tell me. Mm -hmm. And I'm scared that she would just end up end up cutting me off what should i do right this is complicated this is very complex but sarah's making the comments oh you know it's quite fair it's I, almost and, and, like and then, and then you're going oh would you go over with him and she's like oh maybe it's almost and then, like yeah it's, it's you crazy. both kind of want, want the to. one that's got the history with the yeah, other one it is. like you were you were have always kind of been friends with tim you've kissed when you were drunk yeah tim's introduced you to brian sarah kind of went for brian because you were kind of with tim only, oh, but only because exactly you were already kind of with tim yeah you kind of had this night you yeah. saw each other again and then it kind of sounds like Sarah's thinking, actually, I think I kind of prefer Tim. Yeah. And you're kind of thinking, I actually prefer Brian. Yeah. But neither of you really wants to be the first one to do it. Yeah. So she was teasing with the fact, oh, you know, I quite like Tim. Should we just and switch? Then, and, then, and then you, you know, tried to tease her with that. Oh, my God, look, we've matched. Mm. And she and she was like, oh, would you? And, mm. and you've got cold feet. No, he's definitely a bad boy. Definitely a bad boy. Mm. But really, but and now Tim's gone, guys. That's I know. And you're thinking, hmm. Okay, how do we go about this? Hey, Bri Brian clearly likes you. You and Brian have matched. You want to go out for coffee. And he, exactly. And he was giving you suggestive. And I'm sure you can feel that sexual tension. If you're avoiding, when you're trying to avoid someone's eye contact, especially like that, you mm. know what's going down. You know. You know, when you're trying to, Eyes down. You know exactly. Mm. And and he does too. Sarah's not locked to me all night. Yeah. You know? He can't locked, catch your eye. Can't Sarah's catch not locked eyes on me once. He's trying to lock eyes on me. <laughs> you know? So I think, right, before you, you do anything, you girls need to figure out what's going on here. Like, is this worth it? Because, like, I don't want this to... Yeah, it's all fun and games right now when no one's got feelings. Mm. Like, it's just kind of... I fancy him, you fancy him. Oh, I fancy him too. We found fancy, fancy. Mm. But the moment when Sarah's like... I, I, I quite I, I now like Brian. Mm. Like, I, I now like. But does she like Tim? I don't, I don't think know. she does though. Oh, what Sarah likes Tim? Well, ex well, oh, uh, I know. But like I said, it's, it's fun and games right now. Yeah. Like it's it's fun right now. But what happens when feelings are developed and you guys have all hung out like another like ten times? Mm. And they, they can't all of a sudden jump ship. And I do not want these boys to get in the way of your friendship at all. Yeah. You know, because right now, yes, it seems fun and like, oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Mm. but. Might not end but, that but, way. But, but, you know, the moment you sleep with Brian. Can't what, take that what back. What if Sarah's like, actually, I'm not okay with that. I feel really weird about that. And you're like, fuck. Then what? Then what? Or or what if Sarah, yes, yeah, snogs Tim and you ha you're actually like, oh my God, no. And didn't like that. I didn't like that. 
Mm. And, and and then naturally you have this resentment towards your friend mm. and you can't really control that. I don't know if it is it it's not what is it it's not worth it and I also don't know if it would pan out like you think mm. like it sounds fine like let's just switch and that may work and it might be fine yeah. but yeah you you ne until it actually happens you just don't know like what if you need to set the ground rules you, you do to, you need to talk about what you two are comfortable with right now before anything happens the next time you meet up because what if like two of you like really crack on then the other girl's feeling a bit like oh actually i'm not sure about this anymore because exactly. i don't like this guy and like you, it could just get complicated i think you need to talk and you need to be like to sarah how okay, do you so feel sarah like i feel like brian and and brian really likes me mm. and i feel like you know, I might, you know, try and see what happens this weekend. How do you feel about that? Mm. Would you like to have a crack on with Tim? Like, have an open and honest conversation. Nothing's going to happen unless you two agree to it. Yeah. And also, like, I feel like, like you're really at the... Fun. I feel like you're at the point where you can just talk about it because neither yes. of you are that invested. Yes. Neither of you are, like, no. have a huge, like, thing with either of no. them. Which is good for now. And just be, like, make light of it and be like, what is going on here? Yeah. Like, you what know... What is match with me? Yeah. This you is... Know. Should I go for a coffee? Like, yeah. and just... But set the ground rules and be like, are we okay with this? Yeah. Like, like can we be bothered? to even get involved in this way like this this you know where because it's kind of no. weird that we're swapping yeah it's kind of crazy yeah i would just i listen i feel like you guys could make it work if you but because feelings aren't involved right yes. now yeah you need to both talk about it constantly it's like with like open relationships yeah like, okay so yeah we have that rule that we can we can get with other people but we need to sl set the ground rules. Yeah. And you need to let me know what's happening every step of the way. Because the last thing you want to do is like meet up for a coffee with Brian and not tell Sarah. No. And then be like, oh, I feel like I can't tell her now because no. I've not said anything. And then like, more things keep happening that you've not told her. Yeah. Just keep it super yeah. open. And then like, she finds out have. through Tim. And it's like, why have you kept this from me? Explosion. Smoke. Yeah. Explosion. Yeah. Fireworks. Bad fireworks. I would have a good conversation yeah. between the two of you. And be like, look, we can hang out on Saturday. But like, we need to figure out what, what are the vibes. What are the vibes? Like, do you fancy these guys? Like, do you like a particular yeah. one? Do you feel something with one of them? Yeah. Like, and just be honest. Yeah. And be like, look, you know, I had this thing with Tim on and off, like when we were drunk. Yeah. But I don't really feel any type of way towards him. Yeah. I actually like just just be honest. Yeah. And hopefully she can be as well, and it might work yeah. out perfectly. Now, I can see this being a lot of fun if you two just communicate through it. Yeah. Because right now you don't really care about either of them. Yeah. But it does sound like you're kind of liking Brian like a bit more of. Like mm. a bit more, yeah. But you so need just to be careful. So just be careful and talk about it. You need to make sure that she doesn't like see a potential with Brian. Because if you've said that way. she's un not not confrontational, yeah, the last thing you want is for her actually to be not okay with you seeing and Brian. Also, the last thing you've said to her is, "No, I would never go there. He's a fuckboy." So in her brain, maybe right now she's thinking, "Oh, okay, this is great for me." You know, she doesn't even want to go there, with Brian. Mm. I can still crack on. So you two need to talk. Yeah. Quote, gosh, gosh. Imagine that was me and you. Swapping. I could never. Swapping. Swapping. If it works, it works. Abso absolutely. That could be very meant to be. Listen, it's just like we're in our 20s. Like, let's yeah. have some fun. Chop and change. You know, like, Mix it up. It's not all about marrying, mm. you know, Tim and you're marrying Brian. Yeah, try some you of know, Let's just have some fun. Absolutely. Right. Quotes. Right, let's end on a quote. Ooh. Peace over drama and distance over disrespect. That does distance apply for Susie. Over disrespect. It does apply for Susie who wrote that horrible thing. The note. Yeah. Because it's like, you know what? Peace over. Mm. What was it? Peace over drama. Mm. Oh, this is literally another one for, for that friendship group. Maybe you should look at how you're treating me before you bitch about how I react to it. Oh, that's very good. Yeah. I like that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Print screen that and send it to Helen. And it's in pink as well. Helen, something to think about. It's true though. Mm. It's true. Wow. Well, that was a good girl yeah, talk. Yeah, I, yeah. Covered a few topics yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely did. All right, guys. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for listening. Or if you're on YouTube, thank you for watching. Don't forget, we have bonus episodes on Patreon every single Monday. So if you want your extra dose of the girls' bathroom, you, you can get it on Monday with bonus episodes. Absolutely. There's like 15 episodes on there now. To and you can binge them all. 
Um, so yeah, uh, if you want to join that. So we'll see you next week. Day. And we'll see you on Monday for Patreon and followers on Instagram and TikTok. And if you want to send us your emails, yes, send your dilemmas to hello at thegirlsbathroom.com. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok at the girls bathroom. Love ya. Love ya.